Hey guys and girls, what's going on? War1177 here, doing a random run in the Bonnie Wysik. I guess I should thank the game for choosing the character it has. And that character is Blue Baby. Am I looking forward to this? Normally I'd say no, but my Blue Baby runs have gone pretty well recently. So I'd like to see how this one turns out. That was very close. I'm not sure if the last time we were Blue Baby if we won or not. I, I'd almost venture off and say no. That's just what I'm remembering. So maybe possible redemption here or... Oh, that's some bad damage. Just try and get back into the Blue Baby swing of things. But speaking of the damage that I've taken, it is against Monstro, the first boss, which I have conveniently found right away. I'm hoping for a lot of things, an HP upgrade is not one of them. There are many other better things to be getting, as Blue Baby. So, when you're done, Monstro, how about you do everybody a favor and drop a good item? Yeah, you can jump down there, that's fine. Okay, that's good. That's also pretty good. Double blue baby. Wow. That's incredible. And a range upgrade just to top it off. If that was Balls of Steel, that'd be the best boss room. Soul Heart. Containing... Blah blah blah. What am I trying to say? I don't know. That would have been amazing. Checking out the item room. Mom's bra is going to be better than the poop. And you're tempting, but I got extra bombs from you, so I don't really need much else. I'm quite happy with trading one bomb for three bombs. Maybe if I find a key in this room, I might consider opening up that golden chest. But as of right now, no desire to do so. There was no key. So I think it's going to be on to the next floor. Lots of health and a better space bar item. And pretty much captions the first floor and that's pretty much all you can ask for in the first floor I would much rather have not that trinket this trinket now which one's better I would venture to say the hourglass is worse because it slows down while my current space bar item freezes the enemy And this actually may be a good spot to use it here. Run into a little bit of a tight spot. And I'm pretty sure it recharges fairly quickly. And it's actually quite a long freeze effect. Longer than I would have thought. Try and get some extra money. Nothing was there. More keys, that's wonderful like to get my space bar and charge before fighting the boss whoever it may be just to make it a lot easier and unfortunately we have a fire hopper the fire hopper is on loose that's okay oh maybe it's not okay a bomb for a key well a bomb for two bombs just gonna open that up was it worth it? Probably not. But that's okay. I'm gonna try and finish off this floor. Never know if I can come across a mini boss or something. I'd almost. Okay, more keys is wonderful. I'd almost go to a curse room if there was one. I think 
I can afford losing that health. Lots of different... Well, not really item drops, but... Lots of bombs and keys are, are dropping. And that's wonderful. I'm gonna check for the secret room first down here. There it is. That's a decent amount of money. And with not much else to do... I'm gonna go fight the boss, the Duke of Flies. Let's freeze you right away. And this is going quite well. That was a well-placed bomb. HP upgrade is not really what I want. Anything but Krampus. Okay. Don't really have the Polaroid, so I can only take one of these. And why take the Ouija board when you can get Spirit of the Night? Which also acts as a Ouija board. Moving on. Okay. Still can't manage to beat this room without taking one hit of damage. Very unfortunate. But it's something that I've just learned to deal with and to accept. Okay, well I shouldn't be accepting that kind of damage, that was terrible. Golden key, on the other hand, is wonderful. Treasure map. Could be useful. If I need bombs, that's a source of bombs. But I'm once again worried about my health. Thanks for the key. I'm really hoping for a lot of golden chests. That's going to be what could really make this floor the best floor of them all. And try and take out these guys as carefully as possible. When health is a concern is Blue Baby, you don't want to take any unnecessary risks. And the spiders are going to be staying far away from me. Yum heart. Really? You want a useless spacebar item? Well, there you go. It's even worse than the poop. That's something that's kind of hard to do. Good junior, you say? Yeah, you're going to start dashing around. I'm waiting for the right time to use my spacebar item. Right now I think I'm in a pretty good position. So I'm just going to play it out. That was closer than I had hoped. A lot of these are getting kind of close. But I should be able to do it. Take my Jesus juice, go into here. Well, I was actually hoping for Krampus this time. And I cannot take any of those. I would not be able to make it out if I did take one of those. Okay. Let's play this nice and safely. So safe, in fact. I'm going to be using my space bar item here. Let's get him frozen. Wonderful. All I want you to do is drop one penny. Is that so hard? You can do it, I believe in you. There are many people out there who believe in you. I am one of them. You can drop just one penny. That's better than one penny. I don't need that. Why do I want one penny so badly? Well, I want to buy that treasure map. The treasure map will tell me where the secret room is. And it is... up here.
Nine cents, you say? Okay. Ten cents. And a red heart. Tempted to buy that tarot card, but I usually don't, so I don't think I'm going to be doing it this time. No golden chests. That's okay. Wasn't really expecting any. That was a yum heart. Get some more money. And I'm going to go on this side to shoot the fire. One down. You guys shouldn't be too difficult. Just line up. And then go away. It is a mob trap room. Looking for Squeezy. You know you want to hand out Squeezy. Uh, this is going to be potentially worth it. The fact that it could have given me two soul hearts was worth opening it up. But when you look at it from afterwards, it didn't hand up two soul hearts, just two spiders. And that makes it not worth it. That guy's spawning on top of me. Kind of my fault, should have seen it coming that they were spawning, but doing one full heart of damage, not a nice thing. And that's only the second wave. I think I finally got this third wave in a good rhythm here. Two bombs for one soul heart at this point of the game? No thank you. But yet that is still the trade that I have made. And the trade that I'm going to have to live with. Need to be taking these pills. Bombs are key. That's okay. Please not greed. And of course it's greed. And let's freeze you. Just because you're no fun. That takes care of that. It's really hoping to buy a soul heart in there. Almost more so than... Whoa. Almost more so than an item. That was close. Could have lost another full heart of health. Of course, this fire just doesn't want to go away. Okay, Arcade. It's your time to shine. Show me what you're made of and give me a fortune teller machine. If you can give me a fortune teller machine, this could be the floor that saves this run. Quite possibly. That's not fortune teller. Play them for good measure. Blow up that. No thanks. And then move on. There is a good old odd room. It's these red ones that scare me now. They can... Like the green ones, they also have a chance to hit me for one full soul hurt. And they're a lot trickier to dodge than the green ones. That's just five bombs. Oh yeah, that was my fault. This could be the end right here. And that's not a good thing. I'd still like to save my space for Adam for the boss. Wish me luck. The Carrion Queen, that's not very lucky. I do my best though. Do my due diligence in attacking it as effectively as possible. Throwing in some bombs where I can. There's only one fire poop. So that's wonderful. 
fire if there's lots of fire poop that can be the trickiest part of this boss fight. A few more hits. This down this side here. That's not the best card. If only I could take the nail and use the nail. I would do it. I can't get in and out of that curse. Yeah, the curse room. If unless the only way I can do that is if I find a soul heart in there. So I think it's best if I just press on and hope for the best. And all these guys going this way. They're going that way. Say hello to my little tears. Half of it is the decisions I've made and half of it is poor items for the situation that I'm in. That's pretty much the big reasons. I think my play has been fairly good. That's a little too early to be analyzing. Still alive. And anything can happen in this game. Taking out the greed could have been really good. But instead, it's just more money. This is unfortunately Necropolis XL. So it's going to be a tough floor. And I'm going to need a lot of, maybe just a little luck, or a lot, depending on how dire you see my run as. I'm just trying to play this down to 40 cents. But it's not letting me. For whatever reason. Okay. That's good. I'm going to just do that. Get rid of you guys. Run around. Yeah, you're not going to sneak up on me. And you shouldn't be too much of a problem. Bomb fly, on the other hand, may be a problem. Just gonna deal with these guys, not gonna walk in and out of the room. Puberty. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I'm just doing some quick scans for any item rooms. I think. Okay. I, th I know I'm going to be spending some time here. And I hope my luck turns around a bit. I haven't really gotten too many things. That's not bad. That's not what I'm looking for. There's only one shop left. And I found greed already on this floor. So I know that there's a real shop. I've already been to the secret room, so my money situation is going to be a little bit low. I don't really want that. Or that. I'm going to stick with this. All I'm looking for is soul hearts. Uh, yeah. Just use it up. Not a single soul heart. What a sad day. Get these guys away from me. Let's make sure they all go in this. Each set of three all goes in the same direction. Because when they get out of sync like this, it's quite difficult. I 
This is a room that is best done quickly. Unfortunately, I don't really have the damage to do it as quickly as I would hope. Did I actually keep the soul heart that I got from that strength card? That's uh, something I didn't know, but also very useful. I'm not quite as scared anymore, but still scared enough to be opening up golden chests. Steven is nice. Second time I've seen this item. Should have picked it up before. Yeah, I'm not going to waste all my time just trying to shoot the fire. Gonna keep moving on. Oh, easy now. Just gonna deal with the spiders like this. This is the safe way. And I'd rather be safe at this point. Sure, I do have two, two hearts of health. But those can disappear quite quickly. I will still shoot the red fire. Found the second item room. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to stick with mom's bra. And it's just to pick it up and put it back down. I'd like to look at... Let's just take a quick look at the items i found so far. The good items i found have been... Meat, the crate maybe, and then, oh, don't want to do that. Those are the only good items that I found not in item rooms, or in item rooms, or after bosses. Unlike Spirit of the Night or Steven, that I've had to earn myself. Oh, well, that's pretty much it. And that's very sad. This golden poop here could take a long time to break down. Sometimes it even takes a while without spectral tears. And it's going fairly well. I was hoping for money, not the counterfeit coin, so that's very nice. Money which I can spend right away. Come on, give me something. Fortune teller machines are just not my friend this run. Okay, you don't want to pay out either? That's fine. I can shoot over, over rocks. I better take advantage of that. Also got a few range upgrades. So take advantage of those too. And I just want you to be on this side of the turrets so that way I can do all that clearing out these rooms fairly consistently doing a pretty good job I don't think I've taken damage yet but this may be a good candidate for the first room to hit me I might try to not make that happen. Thanks to Steven, I'm actually doing some damage. Finally. And he's still not taking... I mean, this guy's got a lot of health, so... Even with the damage upgrade, still is a longer fight. Oh, come on. I don't think that should have happened. You want to talk about a room that's no fun? Well, here you go. Well, I got rid of the one guy I was not even worried about. I guess that's a good thing. Did make the room a lot trickier. So I don't mind at all. Now this room could just be terrible if 
I wasn't flying. And I can run away in safety. Of course, I can also just stand there and let myself be hit. That's another option. Back down to one soul heart. That's pretty awful. Oh, easy there. Does the game want to be nice and just drop a random soul hearts? You do have to earn it. Thank you. It's about time. Now he wants to pay out. Spend my money here. Yeah, spend my money on judgment. Steam sale is actually slightly more useful than most people would think it would be at this stage of the game. Allows me to play this a bit more in comfort. Uh, Mom's Pearl is good, but I think I need the extra damage, believe it or not. I'll play this a few more times. And last time. That's it, that's all. Please, some more soul hearts. No, of course not. That would just be too easy. Yeah, I think that took off a full heart of health there. And that's why the red nubs suck. There is the almighty shop. No soul hearts. But it, just in case I find a great item. That's going to be useful later. I can hover over rocks. And shoot over rocks. Therefore... You were screwed. Let's go and try and worry about this nub here. Now the spider. Now the many spiders. And the other nub. Tower card. Interesting. Not, then again, it's not that interesting, and it's just terrible. It's an awful card. Can, you can't really blow yourself up, it looks like. But you can make that guy chase me. That's not very nice. Two of this card. Okay. I can beat this room. I can definitely beat this room. But can I get into the arcade? Yes, I can. What am I going to do here? Apparently not much. Definitely have more useful things to spend my... Well, formerly non-existent money on. Okay, this is not a fair room. Least favorite room candidate right here. I want that. Oh my goodness. This could be it. This could be the end. I'm gonna use the space for item. There we go. Decent. I can beat this room. I know I can beat this room. Now, do I go back or do I just go with the flow here? I'm just going to go with the flow. Loki is not that bad. Let's 
save, I'm gonna save that death card for when some bomb flies are spawned. Let's take it really safe. How safe am I thinking? Very safe. Get that damage going. Okay, yeah, you wanna do that? I can play that game. I can play that game too. Right there. Very well done. I'm going to get a charge, hopefully. Okay, this next room. Well, yeah, you know what? I I figured that was going to happen, believe it or not. But I, I, I did try, kind of. You can blame it on the unlucky items or whatever you want. It is what it is, and I'm just going to have to learn to live with that. Hopefully I'll be able to turn around for the next run, maybe get a little bit luckier, and... If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the other Isaac videos on my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.